Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. So, falling a bit behind putting these videos up for the March Daily Journal Challenge. I uh, just having oh, so much trouble with my phone at the moment, it won't connect to my laptop for some reason. Um, and so I have to upload videos directly from my phone to YouTube and it only lets you do a 15 minute video tops. And so I can't even get my photos on my phone, uh, on my laptop either. So. I can't do a pretty thumbnail and I can't uh, <laughs> put up um, Etsy listings at the moment. So um, just a bit of a struggle town at the moment, but hopefully I'll figure it out soon. <laughs> I've been Googling it and nothing's helping. But anyway, it used to register. I don't know why it's not registering anymore. But anyway, bear with me as I work through these technological difficulties. <laughs> so the page spread this time is with the doily and I just showed that box there of my doily collection and pulled out my favourite ones and then I narrow it down later on. I don't include all those doilies, I ended up only using three I think, but there were some pretty uh, white ones, I love the square ones, the ones that are different shapes and I love those blue ones, those ones are my favourites. And I also pulled out a silver one, but I don't think I ended up using the silver one. Um, so I'm just looking for a page spread and my thoughts were that I needed one white page and one blue page so that um, I could put the blue doily on the white page and the white doily on the blue page so it would show up. Um, so I ended up choosing this page and also because it had the chandelier shining through there so it had that touch of elegance to the page already and I think uh, uh, doilies are a bit of elegance because <laughs> of that beautiful delicate um, pattern or design around the edges it's just already delicate and elegant um, and I was thinking that I wanted to use the doilies in two ways the first way was to create a tuck spot by folding it over the side of the page the second way was to just stick it straight down onto the page and then you have a lovely journaling spot um, kind of like how you use digital linens and you stick those on the page and it just sections it off and it's just a really, really pretty journaling spot. But I ended up kind of going with two tuck spot ideas instead. So first I just glue this one down, this pretty half a doily onto the page. Um, and I kind of gave the illusion that it was folded over the page <laughs> instead. Um, and then I was thinking about keeping it plain so I could write in the middle but I really really wanted to use a blue doily somewhere because later on you see for the other page I end up using that big scrap piece so I think what I was doing in this page was um, using up my scrap pieces of doilies in the end so there's a, a large square doily that I had a scrap of um, here so you can see it's not a square anymore <laughs> But I love this doily. It's one of my favourites because I, I love the different shape and it's just so pretty. The round ones, you know, they're, they're solid in the middle, but these square ones, they've got the pattern all the way through. I got it in some happy mail and uh, I, I don't know where they get them from because I haven't seen them in the, any shops around where I am. Um, so I really wanted to put this in my own journal uh, to commemorate that doily I suppose <laughs> and I'm just trying to think of how to make it show up on the page so I tried a blue piece here just a scrap piece from my collection and then I tried this rainbow piece which I liked a lot more because it shows through lots of different colors which I really liked and I end up yeah just ripping that to size using the ruler method technique and then I yeah, glue it down and then I, or I double side tape it to the page and then I use double side tape to make a tuck spot, a very large tuck spot with the doily. Um, so yeah, as I just go through that, I'll chat about what I ended up journaling about. I found a little journal card. So I've got a little stash next to me on the desk of pieces that I like that I just draw on to fill a journal page. And one of the pieces I pulled out was a dog journal card. A lady holding a dog and I thought I would use that as inspiration I wrote down the names of all the pets we've had um, in the family or I've had 
ever since I was a kid. So there was Mackie, he was a Border Collie Cross Bull Terrier. Um, there was Nosy, she was a black and white cat with her nose was half black, half white. So she got the name Nosy. Um, these were all when I was very little, like five years old. And then um, we had Tia and Jojo, two dogs. They were curly retrievers. One was brown and one was black. We also had some budgies and I think one was green. One was definitely green and the other one, I can't even remember now. It was either yellow or blue and they were called sl Slick and Slime and the green one was Slime. <laughs> and we also had some rabbits later on when I was a bit older. I got some rabbits and I also got some budgies and yeah, got quite a lot of budgies and quite a lot of rabbits through that and so there were a lot of names. Um, I loved one budgie in particular, he was blue and I called him Prince and another budgie, she was purple and I called her Angel. Those were my two favourite ones and they actually laid an egg together, um, which was pretty special. Anyway, so the rabbits also, they were Cotton, um, wait, Flopsy and Thumper and they were the originals and then they had babies <laughs> and then we had a lot of babies. So there was Cottontail and Briquette and ebony and yeah they were all black but somehow we got some white rabbits in there and i called them milky and snowy <laughs> and there were speckles and there was a nosy it had a black and white nose and um yeah there was one called runtling because they had five babies at one stage and the smallest one i called runtling yeah lots and lots of babies <laughs> but then um my sister got a dog called Chelsea. She was a Maltese cross um, miniature poodle and she was apricot coloured and loved her. And then later on when I was 14, I got my own dog for the first time and she was called Diva. And she was a, a Maltese cross border collie. Beautiful. She had the perfect border collie markings when she was a puppy first haircut she went grey <laughs> and so she was my silver my silver dog <laughs> she was so beautiful loved her and then now um, I have a cat called Keanu so he is beautiful my beautiful black cat love him so much <laughs> um, anyway then I journal on to the actual page next to the doily and I just write about how I always wanted to have lots of animals and dogs and cats and pets when I was a kid. I wanted to grow up and have a big house on a farm with lots of animals. <laughs> and I always dreamed of what they would be and their names and things like that. So I would have six dogs and one would be called Diego, one would be called Silk, one would be Silver or Silda. I used to write short stories when I was a kid with animals and I used to have a story where I wrote about my dog Silda. <laughs> um, anyway, so I accidentally stuck on this other half of the page on the other side, but we all make those kind of mistakes, right? Where you staple two pages together or you <laughs> um, glue a tuck spot shut. So it's all okay. It's just just fun. <laughs> You'll laugh at it and keep going on. Anyway, so I think this process video is about to end and I'll show you the finished page spread of those animals. I wanted a white cat with blue eyes called Sapphire and a black cat with green eyes called Midnight or Emerald. Um, and I was considering that for Keanu, but in the end, I just named him after my auntie's black cat because I loved her so much. So I'll give you a look at the page spread and hope you enjoyed this process video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>